get to this job seeker uh, sort of story shortly, Pauline, but your thoughts on Jackie Trad. Uh, she's fallen on a sword. Uh, she's out of Cabinet. Uh, we have a new Treasurer. We have a new Deputy Premier now in Queensland. What are your thoughts on what went down uh, with Jackie Trad over the weekend? Well, I think you summed her up very well in your opening statements, Peter. Now, what happened on Sunday was the union bosses spoke to her and um, she initially said, I'm not going anywhere. After that discussion on Saturday, that's when it came her resignation from the Cabinet and her positions, ministerial positions. That didn't come and Anastasia Palaszczuk is basically taking, oh, well, I've, um, I've done something about it. No, she didn't. Anastasia didn't do anything about getting rid of Jackie Trad. It was the left faction of the union that actually got rid of Jackie Trad. She's also said that um, when Palaszczuk was asked, will she get back her ministerial position or deputy premier or treasurer after investigation has been found that maybe she's not guilty of anything. Palaszczuk never committed to it and actually she never even committed when she was asked the question after the next election if you are still in government and if she wins her seat will she be on the ministerial leather? No she wouldn't, she didn't answer that question either. I wouldn't be surprised if Jackie Trad doesn't even stand at the next election. You see, once you've tasted ministerial leather or sat on it and um, all the benefits that comes with it or the fact that she's been Deputy Premier of the state, she won't want to go back to just being a backbencher. And if that's clearly going to be the case, I wouldn't be surprised if she doesn't even stand at the next election. Pauline, I've seen some uh, internal Labor Party polling suggesting that her... Uh, popularity in the regions is worse than Campbell Newman. Would you would you subscribe to that? Oh, definitely. In the regions, yes, but in her own seat. Well, she just hung on last time. She was nearly ousted by the Greens. She she stayed there because the Liberal Party preferenced her before the Greens. Now it's going to Correct. be quite interesting what happens this time around. So. Um, we didn't stand a candidate in the last election. Um, if we do stand a candidate this election, we've made it quite clear we will leave it up to the voter to, to direct where they want their preferences to go, whether to the Greens or to Jackie Trad. I think they're both tarred with the same brush. I wouldn't trust either one of them. I don't think either one are good for Queensland as a whole. And uh, so it's going to be a tough decision for the voters in that electorate.